Hello everyone, my name is Abby, and I know, I know, before you guys say... Abby, what the heck? You said that today was going to be the first review for Shadowhunters Season 2, Episode 1. Where is it? Why is that not, why is that video not this? I know, I know, I'm so sorry guys. It has been such a long time since I have had the pleasure to be able to film a review for the Shadowhunters, and I have forgotten how involved the editing for those reviews are. So it is taking me a little bit longer than I thought to edit that. Plus, yesterday I had to spend pretty much the day chauffeuring my mother around because she had surgery last week and she can't drive right now, so which I am so happy to help my mom out, but it did kind of put a little bit of a kink in my plan, wasn't expecting it, but you know, family comes first always. So I decided to go ahead and do my January TBR for today and my Shadowhunters review should be up on Friday. I think I'm just done telling you guys the plans for my videos because they never seem to work out. So I just need to stop doing that. But I think I'm going to make it where my Shadowhunter reviews always go up on Fridays, even though I know that's like four days after the show comes out. But at least that way I'll always have plenty of time to do the edits. So yeah. But today we are going to be talking about my January TBR and all of the books that I want to read in the month of January. The first month of 2017. Yay! So I have six books on my list right now. I am not going up towards the normal eight or nine because I have, like a lot of you probably know by now, I have a lot of books coming to me in like the next week or so from my Christmas gift cards and book outlet and I don't know what books out of those I'm going to want to read but I don't want to mention a lot of them in this video because I don't want to ruin the surprise for all the books that I bought. So I'm going to be mentioning the six that I already have on my bookshelves or that are coming or that are releasing in January that I want to read and then I'll probably tack on some more of the books that I get in those hauls. So let's go ahead and jump into the six that I know for sure I want to read. So the first book that I want to talk about is the book that I am actually in the process of reading at this moment in time and that is Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. This is the book that I'm in the process of reading right now and it is really good so far. As you can see I'm not too far into it. There's my book right, right there. I just started this book yesterday but I am already really really enjoying it a lot. Um, I kind of went into this book not knowing too much about it which in all honesty is a way that I really enjoy going into books because then you're just kind of so open to kind of whatever the concept or the idea is going to be for the book and I am really glad I went this route for this book so but basically what this story is about is it is a high fantasy and it, and it is about this world that is completely different from our own as we like to say and in the front of it it has a map that kind of shows everyone the land that we are looking at and that we are exploring Exploring. And it's about the fact that there are a lot of different types of witches in this world. We are focusing on Safi, who is a truth witch, and Isolt, who is a thread witch. And what's very interesting about these witches is that a truth witch is a very, very rare type of witch. Is where she can pretty much look at someone and realize if they're telling the truth or not. While being a thread witch means that you can kind of see and feel the emotions around you. Be but because she is a truth witch she has to pretty much stay in hiding because if anyone found out that she was a truth witch they would pretty much try to capture her and sell her the highest bidder so they are trying to pretty much just basically they are trying to just quietly live their lives but there is also a war that is starting in their worlds and of course they get thrust right into the middle of it and that's pretty much all that I know about this book so far like I said I'm only like 60 pages in, but I'm already hooked. I'm already so interested in these characters. Especially, I just, I love the temperament of the two girls. I love how they, I love already how, how well they balance each other and just how they act around each other. I think that it's so good and I'm very, very interested and I cannot wait to continue this book and learn even more about these two girls and continue falling in love with them. So the next book that I'm going to be reading this month is Wayfair by Alexander Bracken. This is the sequel to Passenger, which by the time you guys are watching this video, this book will already be out so you guys can go and pick it up if you would like. But like I said, it is sequel to Passenger. This is basically just the continuation. It is the wrapping up 
of the duology. I thought this was going to be a trilogy, but apparently it's a duology, which is cool. But it is pretty much wrapping up the loose ends for all the characters in the first book. I don't really want to get into this book because again I don't want to spoil for Passenger if you haven't read it. But basically Passenger is about a girl named Etta. She is a budding violinist. On a really really important night for her she winds up getting thrust into this crazy world of time travel and and learns that her family are all time travelers and she has to go on this amazing quest to find something for this horrible family called the Ironwoods who basically hold all of the time travelers within their grasp. They're kind of like the rulers of the time travelers. They keep everyone in line and they're just not really great people and she in order to save her mother has to go and find this this item that's been hidden from the Ironwoods for thousands of years. And it's such a good book. I read Passenger at the very end of December, so it's all still really fresh. So I'm very excited to get to pick up Wayfair as soon as it arrives. And it's gonna be really, really good. And I'm super excited about it. So the next book that I would like to read is Like Wayfarer. By the time you watch this, it will already be out. But it did come out on the same day that Wayfarer did. And that is Love and First Sight by Josh Sunquist, And this book is pretty much all about a 16 year old boy named Will who was born blind. And pretty much all throughout his entire life he went to a school for the blind. But now that he is entering high school he has decided to go into the mainstream and go to a regular public school kind of against his parents wishes. And there after a few mishaps on his first couple days he winds up making some pretty good friends and his he's not and he's contented and happy with where he is then he meets this very quiet girl named Cecily and if I'm understanding correctly pretty much what happens is his friends give him this false idea about what Cecily looks like and even though in the description it talks about how you know it doesn't matter if, if she doesn't have that mainstream beauty about her he doesn't understand why why he's feeling so betrayed. I haven't read any of the reviews, like any of the early reviews about it or anything, so that's kind of really all I know about the book, but I think it sounds really cool and and it, it holds a topic that I haven't read much about, which those are the type of books that always get me really interested, is when it talks about things that I have not read a lot about, and there are not many books that I have read that deals with disabilities such as blindness. So I'm very excited to get a take on this, and I can't wait to read it once it arrives. So the next two books that I want to talk about are also releasing in January, so I do not have physical copies of them yet, but they both release on January 10th, the first one being the sequel to Truth Witch, which is Win Witch, again, by Susan Dennard. This is, like I said, the sequel to Truth Witch. As long as I really, really enjoy Truth Witch, like I think I'm going to, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to want to pick up Win Witch as soon as it arrives. So like I said, though, there are two books that are releasing on January 10th, the first one being Win Witch, the second one being A List of Cages by Robin Rowe. So this book really caters more towards the friendship and family route than anything else. It is pretty much about two different boys, one named Adam and one named Julian. And basically from what I understand is it focuses on them first when they are both younger and Julian is in foster care and, and they pretty much become really really good friends and then somewhere and I then I guess something happens and then years down the road they meet back again in school. First Adam thinks that it's going to be just like it was before but we find out that some very difficult things have happened to Julian and it's really changed his outlook and this is the kind of person that he is and it sounds like it's just going to be this wonderful book that's talking about some really deep issues. I have heard nothing but amazing things about this book so far so I think I'm really going to like it. Oh and by the way I realize that I can't count. I definitely have seven books on my list not six. Oops who can't count this girl but the next book that is on my list is a is a continuation of a series I meant to read this book back in December and it just didn't happen so I'm putting it back on my list so I can continue it on and that is the third book in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series this is the Titans curse and again like I said this is just the continuation of the series I've been trying to do one of these a month and I failed doing that in December because like I said I did not do very well in December at all so I have have. I'm gonna be reading this one and trying to continue the pattern of one a month and 
that includes this one. And then the last book that I'm going to be mentioning in this video today is a book that I'm sure a lot of you guys know I have been so excited to get my hands on and start reading and finally finished the Grisha trilogy. So that means that this month I can pick up Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. And I am so excited to pick this book up because so many people raved about this series last year last year because Crooked Kingdom, which is the sequel to this book released last year in 2016 and people went nuts over it. And so I'm so excited to get to pick this one up. This one is pretty much within the same realm as the Grisha trilogy, only it involves different characters. And this one basically centers around a group of misfits who go on this impossible heist. And that's really the only description I have heard about this series. And I'm okay with that because I'm already hooked just by hearing that. And if it's anything as good as the Grisha trilogy, which I'm sure it's going to be better by the way that people go on about this book, then I'm going to enjoy it so much. And so those are the first books that I'm hoping to read this month. Those are all the ones that I have on the list for now, like I said, because I have a lot of books coming to me in the next week or so. So I don't know if any of those books will make it to the list. I'm sure some of them will because some of them I am so excited. Well, I'm excited to add all of them to my to my list, but you know how there's just some of those books where you're just like, I cannot wait to get my hands on. There are definitely a couple of those in those packages, so I cannot wait to get all of them. I think it's going to be awesome. It's going to be so fun. So yes. So that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what books you guys are planning on reading this January. If you guys read any of the books that I mentioned, if you're excited for any of those releases like I am, let me know all of that stuff down in the comments. Subscribe so that way we can continue on building this family. It is crazy how many of you guys have joined me already and let's just keep the family growing. <laughs> Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!